hello welcome all welcome to another important video and in this video we will learn about gas price gas is the value that we need to pay with each transaction if we want to make any changes in the values of existing deployed smart contract so we already saw this gas price in our previous video where we try to deploy our hello world smart contract and in that we used set message function so we saw that whenever we want to change something in our existing state variable so we'll have to pay some gas values so let's see this one more time in action let me quickly compile this and let me delete deployed contracts let's deploy it one more time so our contract is deployed and if i open this so this is set method we have in order to change this existing message let me try to change something here and let's say send all right so now if i open this console message and we saw here here you will get to see there is a transaction cost and this is nothing but the amount of gas fees that we have to pay to someone now the question is why do we need to pay this transaction fees and to whom we need to pay this transaction fees the reason why we need to pay this transaction fee because there is an involvement of miners in this transaction so before we start learning about how to calculate transaction fee what is gas fees and all the stuff related to that let's understand the entire flow so now let's say someone initiated a transaction that transaction will go in ethereum blockchain and it will be there in unconfirmed state so now in order to make this transaction confirmed there is a requirement of miners so miners will fetch that unconfirmed transaction they will solve that complex mathematical problems and then after that once miner able to solve that problem miner will add that block in this existing blockchain and this is how the entire transaction will get complete but now miners will use their cpu power miners will use their electricity so they will not do it for free we'll have to pay them somehow so that miners will keep on doing it right and that's exactly when gas fees comes into the picture so each transaction that we are doing will require some addition operation some multiplication operation or whatever the operations that transaction will require based on that gas price gets decided now let's move on to how the gas price gets decided right so this is the formula to decide gas price the final price of the gas will get deducted from your account will be the multiplication of gas spent into the price of gas okay so now gas is nothing but you need for computation because let's say your transaction will require some operations some computations to perform they might be complex they might not be complex but each of this operation will need some cpu power to spend on and that is nothing but the computation right so gas spent is nothing but total amount of gas used in the transaction right which we need to multiply by current price of gas and then after that we will get final price which is nothing but this which we already paid from our fake account right okay now there is still some points that we need to understand now the question is who will decide this gas price right so now gas price gets decided based on opcode we already discussed about this opcode a little bit in our earlier videos so opcode gets generated as soon as we compile our ethereum smart contracts and we will get our opcode in this compilation tab you can just copy this byte code so opcode gets generated from byte code right so let me copy this and let me paste it somewhere so that we can see it right let me paste it here okay so now you can see here this is our opcode and this is a long string which is holding some space separated values so now this if you see this opcode closely you will be able to see there is some instructions like push add m store so these are nothing but instructions that requires for ethereum virtual machine and that instructions helps ethereum virtual machine to decide what to do with this contract right okay so now this each operation have some gas fees associated with it so now i have a list of this gas fees as you can see here if someone wants to perform addition operation 
then he will need to pay three gas fees right then if someone want to do multiplication then he will have to pay five gas so now this value is depend on how complex that operation will be so certainly the multiplication will be more complex than addition and that is the reason addition fees are lesser than the multiplication fees so now this is the data of 2017 this prices might vary these values are just for our understanding right so now once we have this addition multiplication operations so now whatever the transaction we are making that transaction will also require some addition operations some multiplication operations sometimes it requires timestamp or all these operations right so now based on how much operations required for per transaction this is how the final price gets calculated and this opcode values get decided by ethereum community right now let's try to understand this even more better let's say addition price decided by ethereum community is 3 and multiplication price decided by ethereum community is 8 we'll take the same value which we saw here now let's say our transaction requires two addition operations and one multiplication operation so total amount of gas that we need to pay for this transaction will be 2 into 5 sorry 2 into 3 plus 8 into 1 and this so total amount total number of gas total amount of gas fee we need to pay is 14 gas but this value will vary reason being there is a minimum limit of gas per transaction you this value cannot go below that and there is a lot of other concepts uh, and there is a few other concepts that decided price of each price of gas per transaction right but just for our understanding this is the amount of gas that we need to pay because we want to perform some operations in our contract the reason why we are understanding this concept is because while writing ethereum smart contracts we'll need to make sure that minimum operations and we need to optimize our code in order to reduce this gas fees all right so now we know we have opcode which has some values associated with it and amount of operations we are performing in that smart contract that ultimately deciding the price of gas that we need to pay per transaction now we know who decide the price of gas fees so price of gas fees is dependent on the programmer because programmer will write smart contracts and in that smart contract there will be some operations there will be some operations and based on that itself and the ultimate cost of gas will get decided so programmer will control gas price indirectly and then there is ethereum community which decide how much cost that how much gas is required for that particular operation so these two people decide the price of gas now there is one more concept which is nothing but gas limit let's say if any transaction has a huge number of operations there is a multiple operations and ultimately gas price will be higher right so we have to decide maximum number of gas one can spend on each transaction and that is what we can see in here okay so this is the default value that remix id is giving us and this value is in way unit okay so now let me quickly change this value this is 300 way right let me deploy our contract again and now if i try to change some value here it is allowing me to do and amount of gas spent here is 3024 now we need to check what is our gas limit right so we already saw this global variables and through that glo okay so we have to check this gas limit so let's change it by this save this let me compile our code again and let me delete this let's deploy and if i see here let me fetch this global values right so now if i try to fetch it this value as you can see we got this message saying base fees exceeded gas limit so the reason why we and this is occurring because we kept gas fees low so now this transaction requires gas fees more than this 300 way so now if i increase this 
and deploy it again and let me close this let's use new contract if i fetch it now i will be able to see there is this number now things are getting pretty clear whenever the transaction is in progress the gas price gets automatically calculated and every single time when the new gas price gets calculated it gets compared with this gas limit so if the current transaction exceeded the limit of this gas limit so and then the transaction will automatically gets closed and it throws an error like we saw here and if the transaction is consuming less gas fees than the given limit then the transaction will get complete okay so now we can see that here we can see with our example also if the transaction limit is set in this particular example is 30 way so this transaction will get complete but what if we set it to 10 way and ultimate gas fees that we require to complete this transaction is 14 but the limit is set to 10 so this transaction will not get complete so that is all about gas fees and how it is getting calculated in ethereum smart contracts i hope you have understood this entire video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye